the fuck going on with y'all man welcome back to another episode of breaking bad now before i get into it make sure i look at the links down below you can find my Patreon, where I am 10 episodes ahead with the full reactions available. You could find my Discord, coming in and join our little server, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, so on the last episode of Breaking Bad, uh, Walt, he's still having family problems, right? Skylar doesn't trust his ass. His, uh, his uh, Walt Jr. doesn't really associate with his dad anymore, he even changed his name to Flynn. So yeah, trouble in paradise. Walt's not really having a good time with his family. Um, but he's sticking to what he's got right now, and that's making the big monies with, of course, his his uh, his main man, Jesse, which is honestly Walt's best friend right now, <laughs> which is kind of weird. Um, and Jesse, Jesse's doing his thing. He got he got his own he got his own um his place uh, with the cute landlord. Might, might I add, Kristen Ritter from uh, Jessica Jones, right? Um, and he brought the boys in and he's uh you know we, we saw a little bit of jesse the entrepreneur you know what i'm saying using some big words motivation uh motivating his guys and uh i mean they're, they're slinging right and they're slinging even though they're slinging in small uh doses they're slinging fast and they're slinging a lot so uh that is able to uh make walt and jesse a lot of fucking money and for his boys as well right so that's great um skinny pete did get caught up but honestly the fact that that was the only hiccup is honestly surprising for me i thought skinny pete i thought combo i thought badger i thought they were gonna smoke it up and fuck it fuck everything up but no they 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 held their end of the bargain made the money and skinny pete only only got caught up because you know he's a, he's he's a little bit of a dummy and you know the freaking the the fiend girl with the boils in her face was freaking disgusting and and tricked him so Honestly, not bad, but at the same time, Walt doesn't want any cracks because he saw, you know, how uh, freaking crazy. Here's the thing. Tuco was crazy, but because Tuco was crazy, no one wanted to cross him. So he had no breakage is what they call it. And Walt kind of, I guess, you know, you know how Tuco um, respected Walt after after Walt's fulminant Mercury play. I want to say that Walt definitely respected Tuco in a sense where he knew Tuco. He was actually scared. He was intimidated of Tuco. And because of that, he didn't want to cross him or do anything bad to him. Right. At least until they shot him, of course, uh, or, or Hank shot him. But um, yeah, so uh, Walt doesn't want any breakage as well. And of course, uh, Walt being the cook, he has he ha he wants Jesse to handle it. Uh, and, he, and, he, and he did that by giving him a gun. But at the same time, honestly, out of the two, Walt is is easily the more in, the more intimidating one especially when he goes wolf like uh, when, when walt was his family he is just super nice walt cooks breakfast soft voice but every time he's with jesse this man goes down two octaves and just goes like he, his voice just scarface you know what i'm saying it's to I, I love how brian cranston is able to switch back and forth between those characters amazing amazing or personalities um but yeah, so let's see how uh, Jesse enforces his uh, new entrepreneurial um, spot. And uh, hopefully we won't have any more breakage. I think they've been, doing, they've been doing a great job, though. The fact that only one thing happened is fine with me. Um, but that, I guess that's why I'm not a drug dealer. <laughs> anyway, that's where we are. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. This is Breaking Bad, Season 2, Episode 6. Like and subscribe. No way. <laughs> yes. No? No. Yeah, five. Yeah? Jesus, how the hell do you spell street wrong? S T R E A T? Hey, man, I'm slinging mad volume and fat stacking Benjis. You know what I'm saying? I can't be all about like spelling and shit. Hey, true. <laughs> Jesse's boys are funny to me, man. I fuck with them. Hey, did I say that? Because I'll go do it myself, right? It's just I'm on probation and all. Yeah. So you're going to do it? Right on. These two, they need to get got. You got it, Jesse. You got it, man. Yeah, fuck it. Smoke a bowl, get it, get it done. Also, does he have to kill those two? Does he have to? He could just intimidate. Like, yo, don't do it again. I'm um, pop you, right? He doesn't have to kill them. I mean, shit. We can meet somewhere in the middle. We don't have to be exactly like Tuco and just kill everyone that crosses us, right? Show some fear. Where's my money? Bitch. Where's my money? Where's my Let's go, Jesse. Money. That's it. Bitch, huh? bitch. Where's my money, bitch? That's it. 
Four words. That's it. Where's my money, bitch? That's it, dude. Ain't gotta say nothing else. Good morning. Good morning. Honey, you blocking the mailbox. Oh. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> like it's gonna be a nice day, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. High 70s. You have a great day. Right on, you too. <laughs> well, she's a nice male lady. Doesn't that house look raggedy as fuck? She walking there like ain't shit going on. <laughs> Anybody home? Hello? Jeez, bro, these are some these are some druggies. They got mad inhalers for what? I mean, we can only know. This house is awful. Shit. Nah, 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 nah. They got a kid. No fucking way, dude. Bruh. No way they got a kid. That's so fucked. How does Jesse do it now? I mean... Honestly, let's fucking find this kid some better parents. <laughs> Honestly, the fact that they have this kid who looks about, you know, Three, four, five, and he looks fine. I mean, sure, he's a little dirty on the outside, but he looks fine. That's impressive for a couple meth heads, dude. Jesus. So when you, uh, when you folks coming home? Your dad, Mr. Spooge, when is he uh, getting back? I'm hungry. Hmm. Get him some pizza, doc. <laughs> Ordering some pizza. That's so sad. God, a fucking meth kid. Ugh. I really hope they didn't give him any of the drugs. I don't think they have. He didn't. He doesn't look like he's been using. But who knows? I don't. I don't, I don't know what goes through the mind of a meth head. Hello. Oh hi, Gretchen. This is Skylar White. Am I catching you at a bad time? No, no, not at all. It's so good to hear from you. How is everybody? Um, I am strangely attracted to Gretchen. Like, I, I know she's like, she's like okay looking, right? But why am I, I'm strangely like, damn, she looked good for some reason. I don't know. Weird taste. Maybe because I, I'm aware that she was the college fling. Right, and that makes it kind of hotter. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if I, uh... well, keep saying, don't, don't bother them. You know, it's no big deal, but it is a big deal. Yeah, to me. And to, to all of us. So I just... Uh-oh. Finally wanted to say thank you. Now Gretchen's gonna ask Walt some questions on, like, how the fuck is he making his money? Carbon. Carbon is at the center of it all. There is no life without carbon. Nowhere that we know of in the universe. Everything that lives lived will live carbon i love these small chemistry lectures because i actually learned some shit <laughs> at the time dr hall worked for general electric and he made them a fortune i mean incalculable you want to know how ge rewarded dr hall a ten dollar u.s savings was that like a slight to the school system? <laughs> I feel like it was. <laughs> Low-key true, though. I mean, teachers like Walt, who are overqualified, uh, both in knowledge and in speech, to these kids are severely underpaid. Okay. Just please feel comfortable coming to me with any problems any issues anything at all 
you know, completely confidential. What? Is she doing what I think she is she doing what I think she's doing? Uh <laughs> I mean, let's be honest though, ever since Walt's gone rogue, he does have a new like badassery about him. And she probably senses that shit. Um, but he's married, so but is he? <laughs> look, man, I, I I ain't gonna say nothing on the matter. She looked good though. The fucking principal, goddamn. Ew. What kind of fucking sandwiches? Is that just bread and mayonnaise overloaded? It's not a sandwich, brother. What the hell is that? They gotta got something better than that. They got some Cheerios or some shit? I think he's a little old for that jug, but he's smiling, so. Oh, here they are. So what does Jesse do now? Dude, I think he takes, like... They're not gonna do anything if he takes the kid. If I, if anything, they might be relieved because they're freaking meth heads, so... Take the kid and live into a better family. Jesus Christ. I didn't drop it! I didn't drop it! You dropped it! Shut the hell up about it! You shut up! You shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Both of you! Okay. Holding him up. Now, what does he do? I don't think he has to kill them. But honestly, more than anything right now in their situation, he needs to get that kid the fuck out of there. Like, you know, fuck the meth heads. They don't, they, they don't like, they're whatever, you know? They're not going to do shit. They're just going to keep smoking and die. The kid, though? We need to get him out of there. Right? <laughs> exactly. Here's hoping. Yeah. We could use some of that, huh? Yeah. Mrs. Schwartz, thank you so much for what you've done for my dad. It was a really good thing. You're very welcome. Well, we're going to find a way to repay you. No, no, no. We don't want to. We don't want to ever hear that. Okay, Gretchen hasn't snitched. Thanks, Gretchen. I think it's because Gretchen's got that sexy vibe going on. I don't know what it is, but she is mad attractive to me right now. Fuck. <laughs> Please. Please. Okay, well, I'm glad she didn't snitch, but... Pull it out of your butts? Right now? Or I go grab a flashlight and some pliers and go exploring. What's it gonna be, yo? Come on! There you go. <laughs> oh, he knows. Right, come on. That's where they, they keep it. Ew. Right, so what? That's fucking nasty. But efficient. No one's gonna look there. <laughs> Is that an ATM machine? Bruh. I feel like I've seen this in a movie before where they couldn't break into it. <laughs> in, out, like, bam. We're smooth as silk, yo. What, nobody saw you? What about witnesses, dumbass? Hey, we roll like the breeze. For real. All we did, we just walked in all smooth like? Nobody even noticed. Nobody noticed. For real. I'm telling you. Victimless crime. Oh, okay. Okay. Why'd I gotta kill the store fucking clerk, though? God. Get that thing off. Sit the hell down and no throwing things. Where's the kid? The kid, the little kid. What are you asking me for? Cause you're the fucking mom, bitch. What the fuck's wrong with you? Huh? How about you feed the kid a decent meal every now and then, huh? Give him a bath. Put some baby powder on him. Get him some decent TV to watch. I mean, what is this shit? Are you serious? To give me one hit and I'll be any kind of mother that you want. Oh my God. Yeah, Diesel, this whole thing would go easier if we all had a little taste. Jeez, man. Is this how it really is? Is this how they really be like? Are they feeding that hard? I don't owe you an explanation. I owe you an apology and I have apologized. I am very sorry, Gretchen. <laughs> this 
to Walt. Your wife, then in fact, we are paying for your treatment without our knowledge, against our will. You involve us in your lie, and you sit here and tell me that that is none of my business. She got her. She got you there, Walt. That's pretty much the size of it. <laughs> Oh, honey, this is the new him. For your charity, and you waving your checkbook around like some magic wand is going to make me forget how you and Elliot, how you and Elliot cut me out. Oh, my hard work. And it comes out finally. You and Elliot make millions off it. That cannot be how you see it. Back in your bags, barely talking. What, 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 what did I dream? All that? That's your excuse. To build your little empire on my work? How could you say that to me? You walked away. You, you abandoned us. Me. Elliot. Little rich girl just adding to your millions. <laughs> oh shit. That's going off, dude. You. Oh shit. <laughs> dude, Walt. What the fuck? He ain't taking no shit right now, dude. <laughs> damn but yeah he definitely doesn't like that feeling of being felt sorry for obviously we we know this but he went off on her i wonder what that whole little backstory is she said he left he said you know whatever whatever oh fuck no ah <laughs> <sighs> Is he knocked? Shit, he's knocked. That's so bad. Damn, it was the kid behind that! Fuck. Spooch, I got him, I got him. Baby, get up and help me! Call me a bad mother, I'll show you a bad mother, bitch. Get up, damn it, get on, go! Bedtime! Uh. Bro, she sounds like the Wicked Witch of the West East. God damn, that voice. <laughs> what did she say? Not surprised, but kind of surprised. She didn't snitch on him again. Wow. I fuck with Gretchen. Walt literally said, fuck you. And disrespected her that whole dinner. But she didn't snitch. Loki, she a real one. Okay, Gretchen. Sexy ass. <laughs> Cash poor, leveraged, quarterly decline, yada, yada, yada. But what they were truly saying, in, in my opinion. They're broke. <laughs> Walt. Oh, man. This version of Walt, I love. He just did the pettiest. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. They're broke. <laughs> and he's not, clearly. Oh, shit. Nice. Okay. Back to close, co close quarters. Good. Well, now hopefully Scala doesn't go calling her like, you broke? Jesus, on the bottom, that's where. You put your weak spot on the bottom. Oh, baby, that age is bringing me down. Yeah, you took too much. I told you. I need to, I need to even out. Let me get ahead of that crystal. Hell no, you lost your share. Damn. So the H is for heroin, and they're doing the meth? That's Isn't those like the top two worst drugs? Fuck, man. You are a skanker! All right, bro. Damn. Oh! 
Bruh, doesn't that weigh like a motherfucking a thousand pounds? Oh, did she just kill his ass? Just for calling your skank? He said it a billion times, but still. Look at her walking around. Jesse's walking. <laughs> she doesn't even realize Jesse's awake. Oh my god. Oh fuck, bro. Yeah, no, the kid needs to go. We are not leaving the kid here. Honestly, Jesse, call the cops, get the kid out, or leave the kid in the front porch, something. And there's the money. Jesse's gonna come up. Perfect. Nice. He actually did it. Good shit. Okay. Call the cops. Now, does, does he get the kid or does he leave? Does he leave the kid in the front porch? I think he leaves him in the front porch. That's good enough, right? Because he can't take the kid. I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, yeah. Leave him right there. The cops will take care of him. Just right. Okay, good. Good job, Jesse. Fuck yeah. Came up with the money. Enforced, I guess. And I think he's just saved the kid. That's a dub for Jesse right there, boy. You have a good rest of your life, kid. All right. And we'll be seeing that kid in Breaking Bad Season 4. <laughs> I don't, I'm just kidding. Good shit. That's a dub for my man Jesse, bro. He came up. He came up. He came up with the money. And he came up in morale. Because he saved the kid from freaking a couple meth parents, dude. She actually killed him for just calling him a skank. Oh my god god but yeah i mean um those those two actors i think did actually a really good job in playing uh druggies i don't know i, I mean i don't know any druggy, druggies personally but i mean they just seemed so convincing like their moods were all over the place and they were just like you know jittery and shit right and you know they, they, they got um their emotions got hype over the littlest things like i mean he called her a skank a few times and well she killed him and uh did a fucking shot of heroin afterwards <laughs> right so um good shit jesse he got the money saved the kid bang um and walt it looks like maybe him and skylar are finally you know getting back to close quarters things were a bit were, were a bit rough for a little there um and i mean the whole gretchen thing honestly gretchen could have uh snitched twice but she didn't so loki she's a real one right now uh but at the same time jet uh, walt with his petty ass he he said fuck you to her and he told scarlet that they're broke <laughs> so i mean walt just doesn't i damn walt really is i think walt um you know i think a part of him is definitely pissed because they took his knowledge and made it into millions um but at the same time, Gretchen did say that Walt just pretty much left out of nowhere. So obviously, there's some 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 history there. Hopefully, we get we get more into it as the show goes on. Cause I actually do want to know what exactly happened. Um, but it looks like both sides Loki took dubs. Okay, and I mean, yeah, uh, Walt's gonna figure it out. Walt uh, Walt knows he's making mad money right now, so the the money is, you know, the, the, this treatment is nothing to him. Okay. And, uh, I mean, it's all good. It's all good. A dub episode. Nice. They've been, I mean, honestly, there, I think there has been more L episodes than dub episodes. So we got a dub for both sides. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, cool. That's going to be it for this reaction though, guys, before I end the video, make sure you guys look at the links down below. You can find my Patreon where I am 10 episodes ahead with the full reactions available. You could find my discord. Come on in and join a little server. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I cannot wait to watch the next episode of Breaking Bad. That's going to be it for this one though. Um, and I'll see you guys for the next one. All right. Peace, peace.